everybody, my name is Abby. Welcome to A Drill in a Dream. So today we are off on another um, little road trip to try to get something else. What are we getting today, do you remember? We are getting a saw Ooh. that is very old, but well, it's it not works. necessarily old. It's used, it's, it's quite used. It's used. It looked like dirty, but it's a saw, so I don't really care as long as it works. Right. It's a Makita um, chop saw. Um, what's it called? Chop saw. And oh, um, saw. it is for $30. <laughs> so <laughs> if it works, I don't care if it's dirty. Wait, like, the savings. Yeah, well, I was looking them up and they're definitely in the multiple hundreds of dollars. So I'm excited about this one. But um, we have gone on so many different trips to so many different places over the last few weeks. Yes. We've been in this car traveling all over. Some or of in them dad's have, truck. More than one of them have been like an hour and a half away. <laughs> Yeah, we live in the middle of nowhere, so you have to kind of travel to get to anything. But she always tries to bring someone with her so she doesn't get murdered. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. Um, we have gotten already. I showed you guys the cabinets and the sliding glass doors I and lawnmower. And last night I got a weed eater, which I'm excited about. Um, the tub. That's the tub. This is a new thing. I'll have to show you the tub when I get back to the house. The tub and toilet. Yes. It's pretty exciting. It's very nice. Very exciting. It's very nice. nice. It's nice. It's exciting. So that one we had to travel all the way to Canada for. We live um, about a half an hour from the border, but we drove. That was an hour and a half away. But it was worth it, I think. Literally, yeah, really nice. Literally a tub and a toilet. It's like a jetted tub. And um, it was... This. You're not gonna believe this one. You like so it. It said, <laughs> you're gonna like this. So it said, um, make me an offer, and I was like, gosh, I don't even know what to offer because, uh, you know, I just don't know what to say. And so I was thinking in my head, well, maybe like, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know. I didn't know. So I just asked him, and he's like, well, I just don't really feel like feel good putting a perfectly good tub and toilet in the dump. So uh, maybe like 50 bucks, Canadian. Yeah, Canadian. So it was literally only like 40 bucks. $40 for this really nice tub and toilet. I'll show you. I wish I need both of So that was exciting. Um, but yeah, tonight we're going to look at the saw. Um, so Trini, yes. I was just thinking about how whenever I came with um, Kelsey and Meg, my friends, in a different video, I made them give a one minute introduction to themselves. So did you see that coming? No, I didn't. I'm going to make everybody do it. It's fun. Put that them on the spot. Fun. So, Trudy, tell me about yourself. I'm looking at the time. The cyber, the, the people of the cyberspace wish to know, wish to know you better. Oh, okay. Well, hi, hello. My name is Trudy. I am Abby's sister, and I teach third grade, and uh, yeah, we've been sisters for about 27, yeah, like 27 years, years or so, yeah. and um, <laughs> yeah, we get along pretty well. So, we rent a house together right now. Um, it's nearby to my parents' house, but we're, and it's nearby to the house that we're renovating in this lovely series. Um, <laughs> we're talking it's about a lovely where it small is. town and a lovely series called right. The Grill and Yes. Anywho, so um, the plan is that Trudy's gonna rent from me rent from her. when yes. we move in eventually down the road. So that'll be fun for the time being. And so therefore we want to get nice things that we both like. Exactly. So I'm invested as well. And so far out of our purchases, which is your favorite? Um, I really like the glass door. The door. The door? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I really like the door. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say it's probably the cabinets for me. I also like the cabinets. I like them all. I basically like them all. the door, the cabinets, and the tub and toilet. The really so nice. basically the actual house things, the tools, I obviously don't really care about. So, mm -hmm. But I like all of the actual house things that you've gotten so far. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. So anyway, let's check this saw out. Hopefully it'll be good. Alrighty, so here she is. I think she is great. Um, the guy showed me that it works and everything. I might just need a new blade, so that's good. I apologize for my car being a disaster. It used to be always nice and clean, but it's not anymore. Now it's turned into a work truck, so who knew? Okay, so I wanted to show you my other stuff that I got. I'm obviously back at the house now. Um, so let's see, this is my new weed eater. It's an Echo. 
So that's exciting. But the big exciting thing is the new tub. Yes, this is it. So I think it was a really good find for $50, like I said. Apparently it worked great whenever they took it out. So I'm hoping that it'll work great when we put it in. But we'll see how that all goes. So anyway, I'm sure this is the moment you've been waiting for. What on earth did Abby come home to that was so exciting? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so I think we can all agree that it's a really nice feeling to, you know, do the work yourself and to see all the progress that your hard labor has caused and everything. But I gotta say, there is something really fun <laughs> about just doing your regular job during the day and then coming home and seeing this progress. What? Yeah, no joke. So this isn't the first time I've seen this, but I can assure you that when it was, I was jumping and squealing and just going crazy because look at how amazing this is. The kitchen is like totally gutted. Yeah. So um, a friend from my church who was retired um, shout out to Jay, one of my favorite people, came and did all of this crazy, crazy work by himself. And not only that, but like, look how nice and clean it is. Like when I do it, it's like a disaster zone. And then it takes me like, you know, five days to recover from the actual doing it, then to clean it up and stuff. But this is just beyond my wildest dreams. Like, I mean, even the floor is like swept. Oh, so amazing. So I'm so, so thankful. And the entryway is done. Ugh. I'm telling you, I don't, I just am without words. So yeah, that was really exciting to come home to. Like, can you even imagine? I was just, there was just so much, so much squealing. You couldn't even believe it. So yeah, I'm going to just give you a quick tour of where we're at so far. Uh, you saw the the living room. I've been working a little bit on the um, bay windows. Actually, um, Trudy and mom came and dad came over the other day and we were doing a little bit of stuff, but there's literally no insulation here. So we're working on taking those out. Um, a lot of people were saying that they're shiplap. They're not actually shiplap. They're just straight up boards because shiplap has the, has the layered on top of each other thing going on. So these are just boards, but yeah, it was like sad because like you feel bad because they're nice boards, but I mean, it's got to be insulated. Everything's got to be insulated. I cannot get over what is not insulated in this house. Like no wonder you had such issues with heating and stuff where every room had to be boxed off and whatnot because there's no insulation. But I just wanted to show you, um, you can see my tripod. This room is all cleaned up. I got the um, stuff off the floor and whatnot. A lot of people were talking about the walls that I took down here. And I've come to the realization that I need to be more clear about what I'm doing because you guys can't actually read my mind, surprisingly. So um, I never planned on taking these, I mean, I took the walls down, obviously, but I never planned on not having those walls there. Um, my purpose for taking them down was so that I can insulate behind them and then put the walls back up again. Um, or new walls, obviously. What some of you may or may not know is that my dad has a sawmill. So thankfully I have access to lumber um, in a lot more inexpensive way than other people might have. So that I'm very grateful for. Um, so we're gonna put up new walls that are in the same or just about the same place. But I didn't wanna to have to like insulate, go into those little tiny spaces and then try to insulate and then sheetrock and nightmare. So basically we'll insulate it, sheetrock it, and then put up walls is what I'm thinking, but I don't actually know anything, I'm not a builder. But um, it seems a lot easier to me to do that that way. But anyway, so yeah, I'm not planning on not having those walls. I'm still gonna have that support, whatever, if it's for the snow or whatever. So that's not going away, just temporarily. And of course, this room, I believe you saw already done. I have to do the insulation, which I'm not really looking forward to, but I gotta do that soon. And I'm gonna um, get up this linoleum 
and kind of just clean up up here and then we'll be basically done i did take the linoleum off of this floor so it's down to the wood here there's some like this used to be, I'm sure it used to be a vent like is in the other room, the really pretty circle one, like this one. But it is obviously not there now, so I'm not sure. The vent for this room is over here. It's not as pretty, but it's still nice. So I don't know. I'll have to talk to my furnace tech and see what he's thinking for the ducts here. Um, I actually work for a fuel oil company. A lot of people have wondered about that. So I've worked for this um, company for five, six, five, six years now. So um, I'm very thankful for that. I have a lot of ins in that way um, when it comes to prices on fuel oil for the house as well as a new furnace. And um, we also do plumbing. So. The heating and plumbing is a really, really good benefit for me that I can get good rates on that as well. So all of these things are reasons why I'm hoping, you know, I can do this project without going totally bankrupt. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay, so last but not least, I have a question for you guys. Um, my next, or one of the next things that I'm gonna be doing is going to be the <clears throat> new wiring for the whole house needs new wiring. So I'm thinking of going around um, and you, I got some painter's tape and I wanna go around and just like figure out where I want all the outlets. I was kind of doing it on a piece of paper, like, you know, drawing up the rooms and stuff. And I was like, I feel like it'd be better just to do it in real, actually be there and see what I think, you know, all around the house and then just put some tape on the wall where the outlets are gonna be so I can kind of feel it out and then I can know how much I need to buy um, you know, how many outlets and stuff I need to buy. So I was thinking about doing that and I was thinking I wanted to ask all of my viewers if they had any ideas of places that they're like, oh, I have an outlet here and it works so good for this reason. Or, oh, I always wish that I had an outlet here. Like I was um, looking online to see if I could have some ideas, you know, and somebody said to put an outlet under the eaves on the porch so that you can string your Christmas lights around. And I was like, oh my goodness, that is such a good idea. And so I'm sure there are a bunch of other, you know, ideas that would be really helpful. So if you have any ideas of places like, oh my gosh, Abby, do not forget to put an outlet at this place, you know, or something like that when it comes to wiring, please let me know in the comments and I would love to get your ideas before I go to this phase, you know, and I feel like, you know, why not ask all these people, you know, this might be very helpful and I might find something. I've already found so many comments to be really, really helpful and be like, oh my goodness, I never thought of doing that and it's such a great idea. So when it comes to wiring and outlets, um, give me your thoughts below on what you think I should do or what you think I shouldn't do. And um, I hope that that might be helpful for me as I go forward and try not to make a bunch of mistakes. So thank you for your comments and your ideas and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I guess I didn't really get a lot done today, but I just wanted to show you the progress that's been done, whether it was me doing it or someone else, but it's been really so exciting just to see the progress and I can't wait to continue and see all the progress that happens. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, press like and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell so that you will be notified when new videos come out. I'm trying to do every Tuesday and Saturday um, depending on what gets done, you know, it might not be able to have a video every time, but that's the goal. So I will see you guys next time and thank you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.